This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. All right. Uh, this is uh, how to connect it. Uh, any net, Blu-ray, surround sound player to the Samsung TV on HDMI 2 is ARC, audio return channel. You plug the uh, Blu-ray surround sound into HDMI 2, and that HDMI 3 is the cable box. So right now, anything that you plug into the TV, it would uh, come out of the audio will come out of that ARC input to the surround sound. All right, and then this is the surround sound unit that we're gonna. So make sure, and this is the Blu-ray slash TV remote. TV, and then menu. Pulls up this menu, and then you go to down, down, down the system. Go to the right, down. Down, 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 there you go, the AnyNet feature that is set to on. So when you hit the select button right here, the AnyNet is set to on, all right? Basically, um, it'll turn on the receiver, turn off the receiver, and if you hit the, the Netflix button, it'll switch the input um, on the TV, and um, automatically toggle to Netflix without hitting any other button we have the auto off so when you turn the TV off they'll turn on the surround sound they work in sync all right and the receiver on that controls the audio through the receiver just like that so let's hit exit out of that so when you hit volume up because you're his father or has he fired me from that too see just like that. So now when you hit BD and Netflix, it uh, automatically toggle right here and switch the input. Okay, so right now the receiver is switching the input onto the TV. And then uh, surround sound, Blu ray player is uh, communicating with the TV. And it should toggle to Netflix, hopefully. Or either do that or make me look stupid. One or the other. Hopefully it's the other. Come on, Netflix. Come on. Eventually. What's going on here? Bill, don't let anyone touch these rules. I don't care if they say, don't worry about it. I know how to use it. Don't let anyone touch it. No, no, and it's still... Touch it. And it's still loading, I guess. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, no. It's happening again. It's taking a That's while. Last time it happened too long. It's starting right now. It takes forever. It's like, no, get... it didn't take forever before though. It only took a second. Why don't we just get out of Oh, it? there it goes. Yeah, it's kicking online right now. There it goes. Would it make a difference? All right, so hit BD and then menu. And then you go to right, the settings, hit enter, and then go down, down, right now in the Blu-ray surround sound settings. And then you go to general, actually not general, system. And then that, that any net feature is turned on as well. So you shouldn't have uh, any problems where it messes up anymore. So let's go ahead and um, go back out of it and hit exit. All right, and then hit TV, source. It should go back to cable. All right, and keep on hitting TV, source. And it should toggle back to cable. All right, there. Right, yep, and as long as it says DN, digital in, Input, and you're good. All right, so now to get it back to Netflix or the Smart Hub, hit BD and hit Smart Hub or Netflix. And it should toggle back. It'll switch to input automatically and switch the, um, to Smart Hub on the device right here. And you should have that on the screen. And you just use this. 
And if you go to Netflix, you can control the Netflix on using this. This is fast forward, this is rewind, pause and play, the select button. Alright, so that's how you do it.